create a new part, name it piston, and turn to Sketcher on the YZ plane, you draw a vertical axis, and create a circle with that's coincident with the axis in a diameter of 378 millimeters. Once that is created, draw a horizontal line. that is coincident with the axis. Hang on just a second. Okay, the length of that line is going to be 46 millimeters. Next trim the outside of the circle. And draw the profile shown here. Oops, hang on just a second. kind of got this weird Tetris shape going on. Let's zoom in. Now we're going to constrain it. Um, just make the same constraint shown here. It's generally a good idea to use offset constraints rather than length constraints. So, once it's fully constrained, we're going to start constraining the part. So the middle width is going to be 25 millimeters, the top width is 37, the bottom height is 7 millimeters, the middle height is 45 millimeters, the top height is 62 millimeters, the outside height is 67 millimeters, and finally, delete that. That outer width is 46 millimeters. Once constrained, um, draw the last line. Exit Sketcher and revolve the sketch 360 degrees. Okay, now we're going to um, add on the grooves and turn to the YZ plane and project the edges of the piston forward as construction elements. Draw a, okay, um, draw a vertical axis through the middle of the piston head, roughly. Um, center it however you feel like. We're just going to use an offset constraint for 46 millimeters. Next draw five triangles or rectangles that are real. Maybe. Make them coincident with each other so that constraining becomes less of a nightmare in a few minutes. So once you have all five, the distance between the two edges, the top edge of the rectangle is two millimeters. Um, the height of each of the first four rectangles is going to be three millimeters uh, with a width the distance of two millimeters spacing between each one. Um, to do that for the first four. Once you have them all constrained Uh, the width of all five um, rectangles is going to be four millimeters. So, yeah, make sure there's a separation of two millimeters between the top of the edge and the first rectangle. Uh, the bottom rectangle is going to be constrained. One edge is going to be seven millimeters from the bottom edge, and the other one is going to be five millimeters from the bottom edge. 
they should be fully constrained in green. And they should be with, lined up with the edge exit and use the groove command. Um, select the axis we drew earlier. Click OK. And there's that edge. Enter, um, use the hold command and select the front face. Select a counterboard hole of a diameter. Select up to surface. Um, and it's only going to go through to the and select the inner radius of it. You don't want it to go all the way through yet. Diameter of the outside is going to be, or the inside is going to be 22. Under type, select counter bore, and it's going to have a width of 36 millimeters and a depth of 17.5 millimeters. Preview, click OK, or check. Yeah. Oh, the outside should be 22. Okay. Um. Next, create a circular pattern, two instances with an angular spacing of 180 degrees around the center axis of the face. Once that's done, you should have a perfectly done part. That's the piston head. Now, on to the simple parts.